hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I'm a little bit, a little bit late. Um, let me, uh, I was trying to get my uh, headphones set up. Make sure that, uh, so how, how is the sound? I'm, I've decided to go wired this time instead of Bluetooth. Hi, uh, Spock, Daniel, Gumboat. Welcome, welcome. Um, all right. So I'm going to be, um, continuing with, uh, well, what, what, what we were doing last time with the checking out the orbital update sounds good awesome awesome um okay let's see which save you know what i'm gonna bring my main save up to the orbital update hi atlas welcome in good to see you that's good i might be talking a little bit louder than usual not used to um getting used to wearing the headphones again do Memorial Galaxy? Yeah, I can do that um, r really easily on my uh, main save. You can check out the uh, Memorial Galaxy. Yeah, let's. Uh, it's been a while since we've done that. Hi, Pete. Welcome, welcome. Hope everyone is having a good Sunday. Fantastic Sunday. Just uh, waiting for my main save to load in. Here we are. Oh, wow. <laughs> I must have been on a regular uh, space station last time I was here, and now I'm like on one of these fancy new ones. See what the space station looks like? Yeah, I can do that. Let's, uh, let's check it out. All right, um... Let's see, where... where is it? There it is. The Zoom Remembrance Pyramid. So by, uh... It has been a long time since I've been uh, to the um, Zuma Memorial system, so lots probably uh, lots probably changed. So we'll um, we'll take a look. I didn't put in landing pads to save on uh, base parts. My inventory is a bit of a mess here. Oh wow, check it out! The space station's pretty epic. It, it has, um... Yeah, look at that. Stream, welcome in. You've been putting a base on each galaxy ever since the orbital update. Yeah, Zoo would have loved the station. 
the uh, the ringed planet in the background just adds adds to it. Also, at you know the silhouette of um, of the space station against the ringed planet. Oh, it's blue. It's like a very calming blue color. Hi, Dimmer. Uh, yeah, Dim you would have loved it. I don't know, whenever I think about him, I, I get all uh, choked up. I have a hard time talking about it. But, um, yeah, he would have loved it. He would have loved it. Should we, uh, should we do some, uh, base, some base tours while we're here, or should we get back to, um, exploring? Yeah, I could hear him say that also. <laughs> that is 100% too. For sure. Yeah, it matches the, uh, the blue planet. The blue planet with, um... The blue color in the space station. For sure it does, it definitely does. I don't know, I, I think maybe um, we should, let's just hang out in, um, in Eisentam. Let, let's go explore some, uh, some Eisentam today. So, oh, we're, we're at the, uh, we're right next to the core in, uh, in Eisentown. So we'll, um, we'll, we'll go around. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll hit the, uh, the explore. We can go to, um, let's go to this, this two-star system. <laughs> Yeah, I do have um, starship parts on my other saves, but this is- I haven't brought my main save up to orbital until today. We could do a little bit of hunting for uh, some parts. Let's check out the, uh, the space station here. Yeah, let's check it out. Zoo's mom commented on one of my live streams uh, last night, and I was at a loss for words. Um, uh, I was so, so happy that my uh, stream, you know, she she really enjoyed enjoyed the stream, and she thought that Zoo would have loved the uh, the base tours. Um, yeah, that that was still that was still on my mind. Um, we're checking out. I don't. Okay, I don't see any uh, multi tools here that look good. We've got a C class multi tool. Not, but not a very good multi tool. Nope, not very good. Not very good at all. Uh, we've got a solar ship. The yellow, yellow solar ship fighter. Yellow and tan? Eh, I don't know about about that one. I don't like it. You like a uh, orange uh, fire starship?
Uh, let's see what, what planets we have here. I know she does love the crows, the crow videos. Sue a lot too. It's it's really hard for me to, to talk about it without getting like, all choked up about it. And yeah, it's, it's it's tough. It's tough talking about it, even all these um, months later. <laughs> they say time heals all wounds, but I don't know. It still, it still hurts. He was, he was such a good friend to, um, you know, to, to us all. He was a friend, a great friend of the community. He really was, he really was, yeah. Wow, this is a beautiful, uh, planet here. Green shroomy planet, green and brown, purple sky. Look at that. I wonder what the, um, the fauna is going to look like. What kind of fauna do we have? We've got this common fauna here. Oh, it would be nice to uh, build us uh, starships to build like your own um, custom solar ship. I think if they were to add that, they should do that in Outlaw Systems only. You know what I mean? Just have it on the Outlaw Stations versus on the uh, standard space stations. And then if they have Interceptor ship customization, that should be on the abandoned space stations. You know, have, have it on not on the same one. I know people might complain, oh, it's inconvenient, but just so it goes with the lore. You know, that way... Or, or you can have the ship customization or ship builder for interceptor ships at the autophage uh, camps. Like... That would be even more in touch with the lore of uh, No Man's Sky having it at the autophage camp sites. That would probably be a little bit more difficult though, I think, to have that, that ability on, on the planet. They'd probably have to change a lot in terms of like the coding in the background to, um, to have solar ship building, you know, on planets, or any ship building happening on planets versus, you know, on, on space stations. Hi Hunter M! Yep, I am streaming today, I'm streaming uh, No Man's Sky. I'm doing some fauna exploration, multiple exploration, you know, on space stations. Um, seeing what we find. Virtual photography, taking some photos, if there's any good photos to be taken. So far it looks like there's only a uh, common fauna here. Well, this is considered uncommon since it has six legs. Oh, well, thanks for hanging out, Poem Stream. 
Hope you have a great rest of your evening. Yeah, I think the shuttles will probably be customized at normal space stations. I don't think they'd have to change anything in terms of the lore or like have that elsewhere. I'm just saying like with solar ships and interceptor ships, that should that should not be on normal space stations. That should be like on the outlaw system you know, system space station or on the abandoned system space station. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not the one who makes that kind of decision. They might just leave it so they know you can never build a solar ship or never build an interceptor ship. Who knows? And it all depends on what you know, what the devs want, what the uh, what Hello Games wants to do. Um. Yeah, there's only two fauna here. Where's the rest of the creatures? Okay, there's supposedly one more. I don't... I don't see a red dot anywhere. Okay, there's some flying fauna. Flying... Flying creatures. No, landing pad to customize starships, that would be... They already have a... Um, you know, they, ha they have the UI built for customizing starships, you know, in the machine that they, you know, the... They, ca they use the appearance modifier, I think. The, the, I think they use that kind of as a base and, like, um, multi-tool builder. Yeah, they probably combine like the two concepts and turn that into the you know ship customization ship builder i don't know i feel like it would take them even longer to to make a whole new you know like a landing pad that does that Probably be easier to move the machine that they already built somewhere else versus baking a landing pad for customizing uh, starships or sh building starships. <sighs> well, I was on. Speaking of ship building, I was on. In the Orbital update, I was on Azeroth Gaming's uh, podcast yesterday morning. Um, I know I didn't, I didn't have time to put out a link and an, an announcement on my Discord about it. But yeah, I was actually on his podcast yesterday, and I talked about how I felt about shipbuilding and how I how I feel like it's currently affecting the community. I'm not for or against it, I'll just say that. As of right now, there's a color bug, a color glitch that makes it so people in multiplayer can't see the color, the true colors of your ship. So as of right now, ship building, ship customization, as you will, is more of a single player experience. So if people want to show their custom ship, they're not going to be, you know, people in the game with you are not going to see the same colors that you do. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not really worried about it yet. If you bring out, but if you bring out like a regular ship, you know, like a normal ship, like this one, the colors are going to be correct. At least the first one that you bring out in your fleet is going to be cor the correct colors. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried. I, I don't think it's going to affect the um, ship hunting community yet. But once that color glitch is fixed, then we can start talking about, you know, if we should be worried or not. 
Hi, Drew. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Oh, you're gonna do a uh, permadeath? I think flying a uh, frigate might be easier to implement than flying a freighter. Cause like a freighter is a, is like almost is larger than the space station, but frigates are a little bit smaller. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it'd be easier to. I mean, it is an eight-year-old game engine. I don't know if it's possible for you to fly a planet-sized or a moon-sized. Moon um, ship in no man's sky might be asking too much of uh, the, the the game engine well, speaking of frigates there's three right now Oh, that's pretty. Can we turn the vignette down. Yeah, Chris Cross was messaging me saying that he found a way to turn off the vignette in the JSON file, so I'm gonna have to talk to him about um, how to go about doing that. I am getting tired of having to constantly turn the vignette down just to get a good picture. Alright, I'm just going to scan for a trade outpost and see... we can find any good ship parts. I don't have any ship parts on this save. So let's change that. Let's get some more ship parts. talking about how you're on the uh, Switch Hunter. Uh, they don't have uh, multiplayer enabled for for uh, the Switch. Like the the, uh, the Switch console is not capable of uh, of doing multiplayer. So if you want to join in in a multiplayer session, you'll have to use a different uh, system like Xbox or PC or PS4, PS5. Oh, there's a needle nose. I don't know about this one though. have a good needle nose ship on this save. Do I have an alpha nose ship here? Maybe I need... Let's see, maybe I should make an alpha nose ship. I already have two needle noses. Yep. I'm gonna need to find an alpha nose fighter.
Yeah, so far, two out of the three fighters I'm not impressed with. Both have been uh, DVDs destroyed by dorsals. Not a fan. Ugh, this is just no good. I mean, the only good thing about it, it has, it looks like it might have gold chrome. I'll do a reload, see if we can find the third fighter. Maybe if we're lucky, it'll be an Alpha Nose fighter. it'll be easy for them to implement. It might be easier for them to implement than it would be a freighter. Oh, that's a decent looking hauler. Got the fan wings. See, is there clipping? Nope, no clipping. Let's see, what color is it? Oh, red and black. Oh no, wait, my character's too far away, it's showing up as black. Yep. It's just red. Oh, that is a weird bug. I have to be like right on the wing for it to show as red. So if you want this hauler, it's in Eisentam. Got, it's a fan wing hauler, a micro hauler, there's no tail. If you want the, the wings for uh, your, you know, to make your own custom hauler, there's no clipping for the, uh, the engines on here. The, uh, the third fighter isn't showing up yet, so I'll have to do another reload. Yeah, haulers are pretty expensive. And they probably don't really need to be that expensive anymore now that all the different ship types can have the same amount of inventory space. I think they, they had it, you know, at a higher price because of the extra inventory space, but now I think it's like even across the board, right? I believe you can have the same amount of inventory space no matter what kind of ship you have. Oh, the exotic's landing! Third reload, and we've got the exotic! Cool! Look at that! we got an exotic! Check this out! Well, you can't... Yeah, look, it's got the V wings. All yellow. Yellow and gold exotic. So, we've got the system exotic here. There are the glyphs, it's in Eisentam. You just look for uh, wrecked haulers.
Yeah, the third, um, the third fighter isn't showing up, so I'm going to reload one more time. Well, there is some of uh, freighter customization already, like you can change the color of your freighter. Sometimes it does change back, but not always. For exotics, I don't know if they should change, uh, add ship customization to exotics. They're already considered rare. on the third fighter in the system. It's not... It's being shy. Ooh, check that out. We've got a planet off in the distance. That looks very picturesque. Yeah, looking off into the sunset photo. It's pretty having the uh, the planet there behind the ring. check the the space station and see what my guild ranking is because I haven't checked how high it is on my main save oh I'm completely out of uh, tritium I'm gonna have to get some more tritium Tritium at some point. Oh, I'll just destroy some, uh, mine some tritium real quick. get enough tritium let's check yeah that'll last for a little bit Yeah, I don't- I, I don't think they will add multi-crew into No Man's Sky, personally. I 
I mean, they have that in Star Citizen and... I think that do they have that in Elite Dangerous? I don't remember, but I know they have it in Star Citizen. And that's more of like a starship flight sim. Um, and in, in No Man's Sky, they don't really try to have the flight controls as realistic as possible. I don't necessarily think that they're going to try to go down the Star Citizen route. <laughs> What was I doing up here? I forget. I forget what I was gonna do up at the space station. Uh, I'll just go to. I'll, I'll just go to another planet. Maybe while I'm running around, I'll figure out what I was doing at the space station. You love the design for the Corvax? Yeah, I tend to uh, go with the Corvax with my characters. Either that or the... Um, the Anomaly, not the Traveler. But like the other one, the other humanoid one. I played as a Viking once and as a Gek once. My permadeath character might still be a Gek. Yeah, the trick to getting away from the biological horrors is to use your environment to your advantage. Like flying on top of the building, using your jetpack to get on top of the building. And then, and then going back down, getting the larval core. Then flying back up on the building, then flying back down to get another lar larval core. Don't even bother trying to shoot at the uh, biological horrors. If you're going larval core hunting, yeah, just do uh, You can just ignore them, and you can actually kind of dodge their attacks once you learn their attack patterns. Oh, there's a deer with the spikes on its back. Spiky deer. It's got like the uh, mountain goat, goat horns. Very cool. Oh, it looks like there's a... Um... Oh, no, there's no clipping. Thought for a second the spike um, was clipping, but nope. This isn't the prettiest uh, radioactive planet. Everything's kind of yellow. Oh, 
looks like we've got microfauna, 0.5 meters. Oh, that's like a, a horse-sized uh, deer there. Taller than my uh, character. There's the ant eater deer. See, look, it's got, it's got the ant eater nose. Well, I am gonna need to get more salvaged uh, data to unlock all the new build parts. Oh wait, I didn't. How did I get hazard protection? I didn't get salvage data. Oh, there's another creature this way. Whoa. Another ant eater deer. Check out the spikes. This is one spiky planet. Got uh, like Yoda ears. Maybe not Yoda ears. Have to be more to the side of the head. We've got some crabs. We've got a crabby planet. Just underwater, underwater, and underwater. Alright, let's go to the next planet. Looks like there, there's only uh, three planets in the system. Let's see, what's the last one? I think it might be on the other side. The green planet. Yep. Two planet systems don't happen very often. It's even rarer when you find a two planet system that has two paradise planets. It does happen, but not very often. This 
is so cool. Look at all, all these giant flower trees. I don't think I've ever found a planet that looked quite like this before. Usually there's a mix of uh, these trees, not like the same ones. Bat and Gamma. Bat and Gamma. That's a, a catchy planet name. Some of these uh, procedural uh, names are pretty funny. <laughs> okay, there's 11. Are we in the north or not? No, uh, I guess we're not gonna find that that one. How did I get this uh, jetpack? I think it was from uh, one of the expeditions as a uh, cosmetic. As a cosmetic reward. It says there's 11 fauna on this planet, but so far, nothing. Yeah, so if you didn't, if you haven't done any of the expeditions, uh, there are ways to get some of the rewards using a save editor, but it is risky. Using a save editor, it can corrupt your save. So you have to please be careful if you're trying to get, you know, the, the rewards from from the expeditions using a save editor. Oh, there's some fauna. Yeah, this is like the third one of these I've found in a week. On the, like on the last stream, I found two of these, and this is the third one. Well, if you want this um, proto roller, it is in Eisentam. There are the glyphs in the bottom left corner. Yeah, since we, there are proto diggers on this planet, you're most likely not going to find any rare fauna, unfortunately. So if you look at the, the explos explosion 
animations that are currently in the game now. Looking, thinking about how it would look when a planet explodes, I don't know if they, the game engine can, can take that that much um, detail. Moon or planet. I think at the most, like, if you were to have your frigate get damaged, there might be a little bit of fire sparking and some smoke. And if you were to get into a frigate battle with... in PvP, there'd probably be, like, some chunks of it falling apart. I don't think it would be, like, super heavily detailed. There'd be chunks and some smoke and a little bit of sparks. I don't really- s I don't see it, uh, this engine being able to have a planet explode, but hey, I could be proven wrong. Alright, I'm gonna go off to an- No wait, there's a glowy soccer ball! I haven't seen one of these in a long time. See, these look like they're electric glowy soccer ball. Look at those. You get your own uh, free light if you adopt this as a uh, companion. All right, if you want this uh, soccer uh, ball pet, it is in Ivan Tam. There are the glyphs. Let's move on to the next system. I think we've uh, played this system out. I can get a cool picture in between these flower trees. Oh, hold on. There's the ring planet. Nope, oh, right there. So on keyboard and mouse, you could actually tip the um, the photo, the, the framing, so it, you know, you could turn it like this, so one and three, so it doesn't have to be like super tilted when you're taking a uh, photo from your starship. And turn the vignette down, all the way down to zero. Citizen is a different engine. It has different parameters. Like, this is a procedurally generated game. Procedural generation. It's a very different. Outlaw system. Why not? Haven't done that in a while. I mean, this game isn't photorealistic to um, super hyper photorealistic to begin with, while well, Star Citizen is trying to go with that kind of vibe and aesthetic. Um, yeah, I don't really see them changing dramatically changing the engine that it is now. 
Oh, someone's actually been to this system. All right, I'll go to a different one. That's right, since we're closer to the core, this is gonna be a more populated area. Let's try that one. Your dog's going haywire over a squirrel? Yeah, my, uh, one of my cats is sleeping right now. See if, um, yeah, there she is. Oh, sorry about that. I was showing my sculpture off, so that if you see, there's a sculpture back there. I made that in, uh, when I was taking art class in college. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that was back there. Okay, yeah, my, my cat's sleeping. Marble's sleeping there. Oh wait, I was- I have to go to the space station first. out what the uh, multi-tool looks like. this uh, lighted planet. Maybe there'll be toxic flowers on this one. The glowy toxic flowers, they always make for beautiful pictures. Yeah, the toxic flowers. Uh, nope. It's just the um, normal fungal planet. wonder the uh, most corrosive blood all right let's take a look at this where is it oh there it is I remember one of the expeditions you had to find a creature with the most corrosive blood to, as um for one of the milestones and that was one of the most difficult ones. If you missed it on one of the planets, that was it. You'd be spending you know, hours and hours and hours trying to find another one. Got dinosaurs! I 
Dinosaurs, all right. A really long procedural name. Oh, not just dinosaurs, we've got Hipposaurs. See, it's got the hippo head and then the dinosaur body. Looks like it's orange turquoise and it's wearing a little bit of a gold lipstick. And the tiny horns. It's a stega hippo stegosaurus. <laughs> All right, there are the glyphs. Whoa, check this thing out! We've got a massive protogeck! 6.3 meters, that's almost megafauna. See red. Like, it looks like a brick red and gray. With wings, a turtle shell, uh, duck feet, a cat ears, green eyes. Oh, this one's pretty cool. I like this proto geck. Yeah, it's a it's pretty big uh, proto geck, but not quite megafauna. But there are the glyphs if you want it. Yeah, it's right like right next to a pile of eggs here. Yeah, I'll get a, a photo with the, uh, the proto guest here. Oh, that's, that's very picturesque. I like it. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get the, um, the plant in the background. the uh, proto geck looks like if it has an alt looks like it's the same one in the background there the same one the turtle duck proto geck alternate whoa <laughs> that's really interesting usually I don't like the uh, the mouse ears but it kind of works on this one they look oh no they still look like they're glued on it still <laughs> looks like it's wearing a Halloween costume but yeah this one the uh, the mouse uh, duck proto geck. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, the glyphs back on. Oh, I'm not against adding a uh, frigate flying in, in No Man's Sky. I was just talking about the level of detail and people, you know, keep expectations low in terms of adding multi-crew ship hunting, ship flying, not ship hunting, multi-crew ship flying to, um, to frigates. I don't, I don't know if the uh, game engine 
can handle that since you know that wasn't necessarily the intention from the beginning of the game it, it might not be as flushed out as we would as you would want it to be it's it's not going to be anything it wouldn't i don't expect it to be anything like star citizen if they were to add a frigate flying into no man's sky but that's just my um opinion on it oh thank you uh hunter for the uh subscription for the uh subscription on your other account as well well it looks like we might have found all the best um fauna on this planet yeah the rest are flying and are we in the south? No, we're closer to the north. So we're probably not going to find the last ground fauna here. So we'll go on, move on to the next planet. Creature companion slots are full, I believe. Yeah, I just have room for one more. I have too many uh, proto gecks as it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like a third of my creature companion slots are filled with uh, proto gecks. to get a good picture from here. I'm not sure, I'll try. No, there's the um the green gassy plant back there photobombing my uh, photo. Get rid of that. I don't think the default is 87% uh, cloud, so I'll change that. Yep, I was right. And I'll add some more fog. Give it a little bit more atmosphere. planet's too far away from the mountain. It's either take a picture of the mountain or take a picture of the planet. They're, your eyes are kind of, you know, drawn to either one or the other. The, the planet over the horizon there. Yeah, that won't work. Alright, we'll find prettier planets. Or, um, prettier pictures. I've been thinking about getting back onto Twitter again um, now that uh, Elon Musk has kind of slowed down on removing things from free accounts. Like, I wasn't quite sure, you know, what he would take away next, but he seems to have slowed down on his um, tirade against free accounts. <laughs> and I miss posting um, my virtual photography online. I feel like, um, you know, that was always my, uh, one of my real passions was sharing my, uh, my virtual photography and I haven't really been able, been doing that as much. I haven't found a good 
replacement platform for Twitter in terms of sharing in-game virtual photography. <laughs> oh, I guess someone's already been to this system, so um, I'll uh, go to a different one. I don't necessarily have to go to a three-star system. Let's go to an outlaw system. Speaking of freighters and frigates, I've got a, a freighter rescue. Alright, so let's take out the warp drive. So it doesn't escape. Alright, warp disabled, now they can't fly off. Alright, next I have to take out their shields. So I can take them out for good. Oh god, I got stuck on the side of this. Alright, and wait for the fuel rod Other side. Oh no, I went too far. Went too far. nearly down. Shield re generators destroyed. Yes, done. All right, pirate dreadnought defeated. Yep, I just defeated the uh, pirate um, freighter here. Alright. Let's see what kind of... Um... Hold on, I forgot to check what class it is. Oh, it's only a C class. C class freighter. I'll just um, seize the, the loot. Demand tribute. Yes, let's demand some tribute. Oh, 
up, we can see one of the solar ships. Looks like it's all yellow. Yellow and chrome. I'm always finding yellow ships. Something about... I don't know. The last 2400 hours of playing No Man's Sky, I've, all, I've always mostly found yellow ships. Cursed with yellow ships. I don't know what it is. Alright, let's go to the Outlaw Station. Check out the multi tool here as well. is that is not a good looking multi tool b class no nope. no thank you yeah I actually uh hunter i do have an old game boy i've got a game boy color a game boy advance a game boy nintendo ds yeah, I still have, so I still have three portable uh, game systems, although it has been a long time since I've actually played on any of them. Well, let's check out this uh, rainy planet. Yeah, I have my uh, Nintendo DS right here. A little dusty, but yeah. <laughs> right here. I haven't, um, I still need to find where my DS games went though. I don't know where they went. I have been, I was looking into uh, getting as an emulator for my PC, but it's a little bit risky. I know emulating Nintendo games is usually... Nintendo doesn't like it when you emulate their games on other systems. Another yellow sky. Hey, maybe we'll find some rare fauna, who knows? Another crab, goddess rod. Oh, it's hunting the deer, the alien deer over here. magnetic teeth. Well, that must be tough, you know, if you're trying to eat with like a spoon or a fork, <laughs> having magnetic teeth.
Yeah, I've got a uh, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and a PlayStation 4, and a Nintendo Wii. Not the Wii U, not the, um, the, the newest one. I've got, like, the, the original, like, the Nintendo Wii. I haven't played on my, uh, PS3 or PS2 or Nintendo Wii in a long, long time. I, not in recent memory, that's for sure. see anymore. Oh, I scanned the wrong deer. I like scanning the one that has the flowers on it. The little lights. They're so pretty. They're the ones that have the flowers. Hi, Richard Head Gaming. Welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, I sold my original uh, Game Boy Pocket to uh, in a garage sale, and I accidentally sold it with the Game Boy Color game. And I didn't realize that until um, until later that I had done that. They were trying to figure out why the game wasn't working when they were leaving, and I was confused as to why it wasn't working either. <laughs> I was a kid at the time, so. You know, I don't, I don't blame myself for not, you know, checking on that. Yeah, I've never had an Xbox. I've always been uh, Sony, not because I'm against Xbox, but because I tend to lean towards, more towards the PlayStation Sony games. Yeah, I never really got into the whole console wars. You accidentally sold a uh, blazer with your favorite CD in the deck? Yeah, you, I mean, it is easier to get the, um, to find music online these days. But at the time, that must have been really awful not not having your favorite CD. Okay, there's some flying fawn over there. I've got the uh, butterfly wings. Yep, butterfly wings. What's, what's next? Got a couple other other planets. We've got a radioactive planet and an arid planet. I don't know. Let's go to the arid planet. We've already been to. Oh, oh hold on. What's what's that over there with the blue water? Overgrown planet. 
for Temperate Planet. All right, let's. I'm kind of curious. Let's check it out. Even though there's aggressive Sentinels, let's uh. Let's see. Usually, when there's aggressive Sentinels on a temperate planet or like one of the nicer planets, they tend to have better fauna on it for some reason. But maybe that's just um, my luck in RNG. Get some water. Mom accidentally sold your PS3 console to someone else? Oh wow, that's um... That really sucks, like losing, losing a whole console. Like those tend to be more expensive too than the portable games, uh, game consoles. Uh, it looks like I landed on the wrong side of the uh, planet, so I'll fly other side. Alright, say hi to Samson for me, Gumboat. Give him an extra treat. <laughs> oh, look, it's blue. Blue grass. I'm always finding blue planets. Can't promise that the sky will look good, but I am always finding blue planets. Uh, no, I don't think there's gonna be any rare fauna here, not with the proto diggers. We do have the ball of string fauna. Yeah, that's what I call this one, the ball of string. So if you want this one, it is an Eisentam. Here are the glyphs. Ball of string. An old co-worker of yours smashed their kid's con console for spending too much time on them? That's harsh. Because, like, they had to buy that console, so they... That was a financial loss for them, you know, smashing the console, wasn't it? Oh no, we've got my least favorite... fauna over there. The, um, ones that look like creepers from Minecraft. All right, let's get out of here. It looks like there's not gonna be any rare fauna after all. Get out of here before the sentinels find me. Hi, seriously, welcome in, good to see you. You love the ball of string? And I like the ball of snakes or the soccer ball. Those, those ones are fun. For the, uh, for the proto-rollers. Yeah, had I known that, uh, Sword was gonna be streaming today, I probably wouldn't have, uh, chosen to stream around the same time. That, he hasn't, he hasn't streamed in a long time. I, I was not, not expecting that. It was a good surprise, though. For sure. Good surprise that he's streaming again. Um where Where should 
I go next? Oh yeah, there was an overgrown planet. Where'd that overgrown planet go? Oh, there it is. Good one, seriously. <laughs> Good one. I bet you have a baller hauler too. Just to add more. And then like the ball exotics. <laughs> you probably have like uh, the, the death ball <laughs> exotic as well. Just to make sure you have even more. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, pixelation. I still don't have the uh, the newest no pulse lines uh, mod, so um, no man's sky mod. So still a little bit pixelated. Just when I pulse, you know. Whoa! There's I just crashed into the side of the mountain. Alright, there's a fugitive starship following me around, for some reason. So you got some flying fauna. I think it's just gonna be flying fauna. There's only three uh, creatures on this planet. Yep, that's it. Yeah, nothing rare here. What about pictures? Maybe I can get a good picture? Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. I can get a good picture from here, actually. It is actually, no, it's a little bit empty. Yeah, because it's a boulder planet. There's no trees, no flora, it's just boulders and... Yeah, it's not a good picture. The colors aren't, are decent. You, you'll make a, a video for me about your orbs. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing it might be uh, demonetized if you use the uh, yeah the other the other word. Ricey for a while couldn't say you know ball you know in plural or else he would get. Uh, demonetized. I'm not sure if um, what happens if you say it in a British accent, in an English accent, or if you say it in a you know an American accent. All right, I'm going to um, go to another system here. Smashing a console could lead to a lot of house or electrical insurance, which could be a bad idea. Yeah, definitely. Well, this one kind of looks like a cross. This, um, this space station. right next to the ring. I should try from this side, yeah. 
That's better. And then turn the vignette down. Yeah, one holy space station. Oh, uh oh. I missed. It is a Viking system. There's the mannequin. I don't know about the colors on this one. I completely walked past the uh, the mannequin in the last couple of space stations. <laughs> oh, it's an A class. See, is the other one the same? Sometimes it's different. No, it's the same. A class handmade M field charger. Oh, we've got a snow speeder. I think I'll take the wings off that snow speeder. Yeah, I'm gonna take these wings. Okay, make an offer on the starship. Doesn't matter if it's a C class, just the um just the parts. Bye. I'll scrap these wings. Will be my first uh, ship part for this uh, this save. Okay, why did I go back up here again? Begin salvage analysis. Extract customization module. Salvage the wing. Yes. Now we've got the uh, horizon wings ready for the the custom fighter. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna end up getting the dorsal fin with the wings. I feel like this will be a test, because I'm not entirely sure if that's what's gonna happen. Oh, here's my, speaking of exotics, this is my first exotic, my first swordfish exotic. I love the uh, auto-generated name, it was, uh, the procedural name was called the Birth of the Sun. Here, I'll fly around my, uh, my exotic. You ignore the moving aliens that talk and do things. It's hard to pay attention to frozen ones. Yeah, I, I don't know, sometimes I can be distractible. I think today is one of those distractible days for sure. Oh, there's an overgrown planet. Oh, it does come with the fin. Uh, okay, I might have wasted money on this one. So 
But at least now I know it, that the uh, fin goes with the wings and not the engine. Oh, it's the same kind of overgrown planet as the other system. Oh, it's almost spelt like um, feline, but it's Faylane. Faylane? Yeah, auto generated name. Oh, we've got the blue um, smoke fish. I don't know why, but whenever you scan these uh, blue smoking fish, they don't um, show up in the discoveries that it's a blue, blue smoke fish. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Yep, that's what I call these ones. Blue smoke fish. Yeah, at this point, the uh, storms aren't really a big deal. I've, the save I have over 600 hours on this save and I've built up my uh, my characters um, you know I've got s class modules across the board I could even add another uh, shield s class shield to this Now you want some smoked salmon? This one's kind of... Uh, this one's kind of gross. The, the, um, the stringy one. Not the ball of string, but the other string. String ball. Creature, I don't know. It's, it's not very good. I, I don't, it doesn't feel good looking at it. Let's just say that. And I don't like looking at it. Yeah, it is sort of a ball. That's right, seriously. <laughs> sort of. Uh, it doesn't look like much of a cave. Oh, there's the smoke fish again. This is a pretty planet. Very mountainous fog density. I don't. Oh yeah, it's at fifty percent. That's still very high for fog. Fifty percent fog des density. Yeah, it'll be hard to see anything on this planet, you know, from a distance. to see if I can get a uh, good picture of these 
fishies, but I'm not really seeing it. All right, we'll move on. We'll move on from that. Welcome back, gumboat. There's nine fauna. See what I mean? You can't see that there's a fish here. So the only evidence of the flying uh, smoky fish is the picture that you take. It's not, it never, it doesn't show up in the discoveries tab. <laughs> Practice my French. I took Spanish in in high school and college. Not French. Not French. Um. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't take any uh, any French. Omelet du fromage. I learned that from watching Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> Multi-tool parts on here. You don't like to speak in Russian? Hunter doesn't. Uh, Hunter, you don't like to speak in Russian? Yeah, I'm not like fluent in Spanish or anything. I can understand like the basics, but I definitely don't, I'm not able to speak it. <laughs> hablar, hablar, habla. Hablo, yo hablo inglés. <laughs> yeah, present. Uh, tense, past tense, future tense. There's all, all these different conjugations in Spanish. I'm very confusing. Never did quite get the hang of it. Wow, look at this planet. It is beautiful. It's got like this yellow and blue filter on it. So it's a redacted planet. It says the weather is corrupted blood. That's very metal. It's a very metal na um, name for the weather. <laughs> corrupted blood. That sounds like it could be a song or, or a band name. Here. We got a predator, a six legged one, which is uncommon. Kind of got this fishy fish tail.
All right, I kind of want to see what the filter looks like when it's um, normal color. All right, so this is a little bit closer to what the actual color of the planet is. So the grass is like more of a grayish color. You know, this isn't the worst offender for a, a doggeroo. Yeah, I remember uh, I dated someone long distance for seven months who was in the Ukraine, and I remember they tried to teach me a little bit of Ukrainian, and it was above, it was way over my head. I waited yeah I couldn't I couldn't remember any anything for Ukrainian language I wasn't I wasn't very good at speaking in, in Ukrainian yeah languages um, I'm, I'm not I don't really score high in uh, in languages and understanding different languages. I'm more, I'm very fixed in, in English, unfortunately. It would come in handy being bilingual for sure. Let's see, what color is the water on this planet? Is it blue or is it a different color? Oh, it's Wow, it's perfectly blue water. All right, so I've, for those who don't know, I have a mod that makes the water look more realistic. The uh, Arg water mod. So your character looks like it's actually swimming in the water. Hi Delta, welcome in, good to see you. I just found this gorgeous planet here um, that has the weather corrupted blood, which sounds very metal. I said, <laughs> I said that earlier, but still very true. For such a metal sounding name, it's a very beautiful, beautiful planet. I almost want to put a base down, but I don't want to... Um, you know, put a base down and then, you know, not come back, not come back to it. I have so many bases already, uh, where I just left a base computer and then put like a sign like under construction or made it look like it was under construction with the base parts. Oh, you, you were listening in to my, uh, my, my Spanish, um, bien? Bien, bien. Como estas? E2? I think that's how you say it. Or just e e two. I think it's just e two. I don't have to say como estas. There's there's two different ways of saying it. <laughs> no, bien is also uh, Spanish. There are some crossover. Oh, it's bueno, not bien. But I, I guess there's present tense and past tense, future tense. There's different tenses for bien, bieno. <laughs> 
Well, Gumbo wanted me to practice my French. <laughs> so, so there, there, Delta. I, I'm practicing my French. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the next planet. We didn't get to see the um, corrupted blood weather. That would have been awesome. Let's go to the, uh, the frozen planet. Oh wait, what's that planet behind the frozen planet? Oh, I already went to that one. I know how to say that. Um, that's supposed to be uh, how are you in French. But I think that's like the one of the only phrases that I know in, in French. Like the only one that's like a full sentence. Bug's probably laughing his ass off right now. You live on a frozen planet? Delta, I didn't know you were fluent in French. We're gonna have to- you're gonna have to, you know, talk to Gumboat in French, I think. That'd be fun. Gunboat and another silver mist. You know, they're both in, in Canada and use, out in Canada land they both they usually learn both French and and English out there. Oh no. <laughs> okay, he said that YouTube. <laughs> That's all I understood out of that gunboat. It was YouTube. <laughs> And, and my username. Oh, what's that? We've got some fauna over there. Oh, my name is Sazibo, and you can find me on YouTube. Okay. Uh oh, there's a predator aggressive fauna here. I better run. No, wait, there's Proto Gex. I can't leave yet. Oh, we've got another Proto Gex. Look, it's the one with the, uh, the Oh no, it's clipping with itself. You're digging deep into the high school French class? Um, well, I learned from Dexter's laboratory how to say um, one phrase over and over again. Omelette du fromage. <laughs> Another phrase I know how to say. Not really a phrase, it's just more of a food. Ah, oh, check this thing out. Orange and red. It looks so sad. Like a sad, sad proto -gag. Yeah, it looks like it could be a penguin if it wasn't for the, uh, the deadly claws there. And yet we are in Eisentam if you want this orange, green, and red. Proto Gek with deadly claws. You wouldn't want to get a hug from this. You know, it might it might be a bit deadly. Ooh, check this out. Yeah, that's a good picture. Oh, I forgot to turn the vignette off. Let's 
try this again. All right, so we'll get a good picture without the vignette. picture there. Yeah, is it isn't Gumbo supposed to be doing the translating hard to find good mods these days? No, I think he's testing your um your French there. Um Delta uh, he he wants to see you translate your own comments. I wouldn't say that's an ugly penguin. It's got like this armor on it. I've got to scan it. It's like a cuddly wolverine. You know, that's probably the best description I've heard of um, proto gecks that have the long claws and... Well, yeah, just the proto gecks with long claws, the cuddly wolverine. Oh no! There's the uh, aggressive Vana gonna chase after me. You're writing one up now for Delta? <laughs> There's some flying, flying fauna there. I can see if we can find another, the alternate for that proto deck, but I'm not sure if it will have one. Apparently it can dislocate jaw bones. Well, it doesn't have jaw bones, it has a beak, so that doesn't make any sense <laughs> for the additional observations on that proto deck. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I've never been to the east coast of Canada, but I have been to the west coast in Canada. Like, I remember as a kid, you know, my parents drove up into Canada from Montana back when you didn't need to have a passport to go across state lines to, into into Canada and we went to an Arby's and then drove back into the US and, and then the next time we went into Canada it was an actual trip and not just a trip to a Canadian Arby's. Uh, we went to, like out to um, out to Victoria, Canada. And my dad, he said that he felt like he was among his people, the land of the tall. Cause like, I've, like I've a lot of people, a lot of were like over six foot in Victoria for some reason. But that could have been just at the time when we went up there. I don't know if that's still true. But yeah, I remember. Yeah, I never, I've never been to Canada as an adult. I've only ever been there as a kid. Yeah, so we've seen all three planets here, so it's time to go on to the next, next system. Let's see, let's go to and a red system. Maybe we can find some robo dogs. Now it's been a 
a while since I've seen a robo dog. Oh, overgrown planet. storm here. Alright, so there's not going to be any robo-dogs here, it looks like. Yeah, for the robo-dog planets, usually there, there's only one fauna when you look in the discoveries. And there's like 10 fauna here. Oh, this one apparently never blinks. That's kind of eerie. Got the weird jellyfish bugs. Oh, that's what these kind of look like. Jellyfish, or the it's like, yeah, that's kind of creepy. It looks like it's a crepe or a pancake. many vacations as I'd like. I either have time but no money, money but no time. Um, that's pretty much how, how my life has been for the last 16 years where uh, it's mostly been no money and not, not the other way around. So I haven't been able to travel as much as I wanted to. I spent a lot of my years in my 20s in college. I spent, you know, I, I spent like six years, five years in junior college before I went over to... No, four, five years in junior college because I switched majors and then I went to a regular college. So I spent most of my 20s in college, so being broke college student, so I wasn't able to travel. Um, yeah, I wasn't able to travel as much. Yeah, it is expensive changing your mind for um, changing your degree. Seeing any more fauna here? That might be it. This is a kind of a pretty planet. I don't know about the purple and red though. There's like purple splotches on the red with purple sky. You know me. I'm not really a huge fan of that color combination. Yeah, there's no more, no more fauna, looks like. I might have gotten all of it. Yep. That's that. Let's check out some of the other planets. Oh, 
I like the um, the color combination on this one. It looks familiar. It almost looks like my color combo. On, uh, on my character. You know what, let's just go to one more, one more planet. And we'll, we'll call it there after one more. Let's see, what's that one? Is it nuclear or... Nope, another fungal planet. Where are the rest of the planets hiding? I hope there's one... Fiery Dread World. Looks like a planet that would have robo dogs. Nope. No robo dogs. There's nine fauna here, so no robodogs. Only one more crown fauna. All right, thanks for hanging out, Delta. I'm actually going to end the stream pretty soon. I just wanted to scan a few more uh, creatures first. Yep, that's it for the crown fauna. We've got the, the one that kind of looks like a rib cage. If you want this one, it's in Eisentam. So there are the glyphs for that. Alright. Thank you everybody for uh, hanging out with me today. Um, I really appreciate all the support. Um, I know Sword is streaming right now. I'm, a lot of you are probably lurking in both streams. Uh, Sword Gaming is streaming at the moment and he hasn't streamed in, in a long time. If I if I had known that he would be streaming right now, I probably would have just skipped today. Cause I know everybody's excited to see that he's streaming again. We all missed him. So let's go say hi to Sword. Um, we have a very friendly, um, casual welcome. And, uh, yeah, let's, um, I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye, everybody.